Hello and welcome to this video. Today we're taking a look at Sierra chart and we're going to talk about how to link charts together. Uh, this can be helpful in a few different ways. Uh, for things like matching instruments or time frames, it can make it just a little bit easier so you don't have to change all of your charts at once. You can just do it on one chart and it will replicate it across the other charts. So for example, if you take a look at my Sierra chart instance currently, I have a chart book open with just two different charts. I have an ES uh, daily chart here on our left and a 60 or Euro futures one minute chart on my right. Um, now, what if I wanted to actually have two different time frames, but of the same instrument? That's a pretty common thing. Some people like to view a larger time frame and then a smaller time frame to kind of compare. So I could do that absolutely by linking our charts together. So for example, I have the ES on a daily time frame on my left, but maybe I want to view the ES on a one minute chart as well. So I could do that and link those two together here to change the right chart to a ES chart. And then whatever instrument I changed it to, it would then keep the same time frames but switch the instruments for both. So let's go ahead and link these two charts together. We need to do that through the chart settings menu. So I'm going to go to the CS button here. So I have my left uh, ES chart uh, selected here. I'll select the CS button and we're going to go to advanced settings 2. So the second tab or third tab uh, from the left here. And then we have a chart linking option here. I'm gonna go ahead and choose a link number. It doesn't matter necessarily just which one, um, just choose one of them and then remember that number. Uh, since I don't have any other charts linked currently within Sierra chart, I'm just gonna choose one. And then we have a few different things that we can actually link. We can link one or multiple options as well. I'm just gonna choose one for now and I'm going to link the symbol. So I'm gonna select apply here and then select okay. And then I'm gonna do the same on my other chart that I want linked. So I'll select the chart settings button here go to advanced settings two again, and then I'm gonna do the same, and you choose the same link number, number one, and then I'll select link symbol. Select okay, and now these two are linked. So I actually have the 6E on both of these charts now. So now, no matter what I uh, wanted to change to, if I just change it on one, it will change it on both. So for example, if I wanted to go ahead and change that, so I'll go back to the chart settings menu here and I'll select a different symbol. So for example, we'll just choose maybe the ES. We'll select okay and you'll see both of those changed. I didn't have to change them on both. It just happened to do that for me uh, on both of these. So we're getting daily on the left for the ES and then we'll get a one minute time frame on the right for the ES. And you can do that with any instrument. So in a moment here, I'll switch back to the 60 and you'll see both of them switch for me um, just to kind of save some time. All right, so now what I'll do here is I'll go ahead and switch back to the 6E and you'll see how easy that is. So the Euro futures here, I'll select OK. And that's actually going to switch me back to the 6E. So now I have the daily time frame for the 6E on my left, and I have the one minute time frame on the right. Now, I only have two charts open here currently, but this will actually work with multiple charts. So you don't have to just use two or you're not limited to two per se. I could have four charts open or more charts open, and it would still link those two together here. And so now I have both the uh, 6E on both the one minute and the daily time frame. But again, you saw some other options in there. We didn't have to link necessarily just the symbol. We can actually link more than that. So maybe I didn't want to link the symbol. Maybe I wanted to link the bar period. I can do that. And if I just do that on one of these, since these are already linked, it will actually change that option for both of them. So it's going to choose link bar period for both of these charts. And now I have both of them on a daily time frame. So what this could be useful for is maybe I have uh, different instruments on both of these. Since the instruments are not linked now, I can actually have uh, separate instruments, but the same time frame. So you can view different instruments and kind of compare them on the same time frame, but for uh, different uh, markets. So I'll switch to the ES on my left hand chart here. And now I'll be viewing the ES on a daily time frame here on the left hand side but I have the 6E here on the right hand side. So we have a couple different options as far as linking. Um, now I just choose I just chose one or the other. So either kind of uh, linking the symbol or uh, linking the actual um, instrument here. 
versus linking maybe the time frame like we have now. Now we're linking the daily time frame, but you saw we had other options in there as well. We can actually link the scroll position or session times as well if we happen to change those, or we could link both of them here. So if I link both of those, we'll now link the symbol and the time frame uh, for both of those. So now I'll have essentially identical charts here. Um, on the left and the right hand side. So you see you have a couple different options here as far as linking those. Um, just to make it easier and save a little bit of time within Sierra Chart, you have all those options available to you. If you have any questions about linking charts, please feel free to call us at, or uh, visit our website at www.optimusfutures.com.